Hello. Hello. Hi guys, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Kind of tired. I'm tired oh, too. Oh, come on guys. What's going on? Too I much work? From playing soccer. From where? No, I didn't work today, but I went to play soccer. Ah, okay. Well, that's a good reason to be tired anyway. <laughs> Okay, yeah. welcome. I see Katia tonight. Juan Carlos, welcome. Jose, Thank you. Katia, how are you? Fine, and you? Ah, everything is good. Good as always. We say tired but happy. <laughs> Even though we're tired, we should be happy. All right, um, we're going to continue working with this. I guess last night we did finish. All right, we saw this and you were supposed to do it together. So let's move on. Are you on the platform? Everybody finished the midterm already, right? Yes. yes. Right. Okay, great, great. Um, this is what we practice. I don't know what it's all. Okay. Um, she has, she ate snails. Did we finish this part? No, yet. No. Yes. No. Not ah, sure. Anyway. Yes, we did. Yes, I'm not sure, but I remember with it. Anyway. Uh, to start with the class, I would like you to continue practicing some speeches, some uh, statements. I sent an image last night. Let me see it's here. And you remember that we were discussing a lot of questions, right? For example, here's one. We said, have you ever seen a tornado? Uh, have you ever drawn a cartoon? And so on. I would like you to discuss five or six more questions, okay, to warm up a little bit. And then we'll continue working on the platform, right? So I just sent it again. The one we were working with last night, here it is. Can you see it? Right, I would like you to ask six questions and discuss in groups as a warm up. Ready? Okay. All right, let's try this. Yes, make sure you're using both. Again, person perfect and path simple. All right, accept the invitation, please. Everyone, let's practice. Hello, Katia. Hello, hello, hello. One, two, three, hello. one, two, three. <laughs> ah, yo funciona. <laughs> testing, testing. Sorry, I didn't <laughs> All right, open the, the okay. image and let's practice. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Guys, have you ever been on TV? What? Have you ever been on TV? <coughs> it's the, the very last question here. Have you ever been on TV? No, I haven't. No. What about you, Juan Carlos? I don't understand the question. Uh, can you explain again, please? Sure. It says, have you ever been on TV? ¿Alguna vez has estado en televisión? <laughs> no, I haven't. Not never. You never. I, I never have it on I TV. I have never. I never have it. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. I have I never. I have Never. Only that. I have never. 
or I have never been on TV. I have never, you know, on TV. On TV. On TV. Right. Okay. Ask another question. Miguel Angel? Yeah. Ask another question. Uh, I, are you, uh, are you go to the, go to Europe? Um, have you ever, what's the past participle of go? Gone. Gone. So have you ever gone to Europe? Have you ever gone to oh. Europe? Europe. 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 Yes. Europe. Very good. Right. That's the question, guys. I play it. I have played. Yes, I have played. Play. Yes, I have played. Too many, many years ago. <laughs> many years ago. Okay. Okay. Next. Next. Remember to ask a follow up question in the past. Say that again. Remember to ask a follow-up question in the past. Yes, we are doing that. Okay, great. All right. Next questions. Um, have you ever go surfing before? What's the past participle of go? Gone. Yes, gone. Wait, to say gone. Have you ever gone? gone. Yes. Gone. Made someone cry the first and the second night. The first and second. Right, Daniel is here. Katia, I think that she's not here anymore. So I have Juan Carlos, Daniel, and Miguel. We're practicing, yeah. Daniel. Okay. All the questions. Have you ever made someone cry? Daniel? Hello? Have you ever made someone cry? Uh, yes. Ah, yes, you have. What did you do? Yes. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I been cried because um, I have my cried. dad... I have cried because my dad died when I... I am um, when I won when, when I was uh, 19 years old oh sorry about that oh the, the, the question is different because it says have you ever made someone else cry oh uh, sorry sorry Are you uh, caused it to happen uh, okay um <laughs> no, I don't. No, I, don't. I, I haven't. I haven't. Is the negative? I haven't. I haven't. Right. Okay, Tati, are you here? Yes. Uh, Miguel Angel and Juan Carlos, are they answering? Hello. Questions? Hello. Are we here? Juan I'm Carlos? here. Mm -hmm. Hello. Everyone is here. This is a big group. All right. Hello. So the questions and we finish. Go ahead. Continue. We are seeing uh, where. No, I haven't seen a whale. Wait. So, you have whale. to say so. No, I haven't saw a whale. No, seen. Seen, yes, yeah, seen. No, so Jesus didn't answer my question. That's why he had to say so. What is the simple pass? Uh -huh. What's your question? I say, <laughs> have you ever seen a whale? Yes. No, I haven't seen a whale before. Uh huh, that's correct. That's good. Okay, another question? Two more questions and we finish. So continue, guys. Okay. Mm. My, last, my last holiday is it's, uh, very boring. Word. They were uh, the far.
Welcome back, everyone. Nah, I only have two people, so not everyone. <laughs> the two of you. Are you on the platform? Hey, Jolanda, welcome. I was wondering where you guys were. Not adding a question. All right, let's continue. We're going to work on section 4.3. Yes, read the objective, please. Jose Roberto, go ahead. Okay, lesson objective. Sequence adverbs are used to help describe a progression of event. Often used in receive of recipe? or, uh, recipes or instructions. <laughs> sequence, sequence adverbs such as first, then, next, after that, and finally contain information about the order of actions and create natural transitions in writing. In this lesson from English, teacher Joy, Joy Sam, Science. Science, uh, practice describing recipes in English using sequence adverbs. This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. Exercise. Very good. All right, let's pay attention because we're going to be practicing this. So you need to kind of memorize the, the sequencers. All right. All right. Let's watch. Everybody with the microphone and listen up. Hello, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan. Then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Now let me get started by explaining what sequence adverbs are. This topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. In this case, what we want to do is explain food recipes. But you can explain any other process using sequence adverbs. So the sequence adverbs that we will cover in this lesson are first, then, next, after that, finally. Similar to the audio program, in this case we can see that there is a recipe. So on the top we see the recipe on a sheet of paper, right? We see three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, uh, and we want that to be melted. And what we want to do is we want to be able to take this recipe and then we want to use sequence adverbs to explain it, right? And so we use the first one first, mix the peanut butter and mashed potato together. Then we use another sequence adverb, we use then, lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, 
close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. And finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. And what we basically did was that we organized our ideas and we explain, in this case, a food recipe. We use sequence adverbs to do this. And so as I mentioned, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and then we use finally. And um, what I would like to point out here is that all of these words are synonyms. What this means is they're the same word, right? They mean exactly the same thing. And the reason that we want to use different words is because we don't want to sound too repetitive. So for example, we don't want to express this food recipe in the following way. First, mix the peanut butter and banana together. Then, toast the slices of bread. Then, spread the mixture on the toast. Then, put the sandwich in a pan with butter. Then, try the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. We don't want to do that, so therefore we use different words to explain All right, let's look at the sequencers. And guys, if you can, turn your cameras on. I would like to see you. All right, I don't see anybody tonight except Daniel, Miguel, Yolanda, well, the majority. Katia, there you are. Jose, why are you hiding? Tell me why. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so we have how many sequencers here? One, two, three, four, five. Let's read them, okay? Let's say first. Fritz meets the permit. Booted and no. banana. So first, I, I sent you a mini. I will tell you why. <laughs> All right. First, then, 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 next, next, next. After next. that, after, after that, that, after that, finally, finally, finally. All right. What we're going to do is you can use then, next, and after as many times as you want, but obviously first and finally you cannot repeat them, right? So imagine okay. that the instructions are very long. Let's work on an example together. We're going to give instructions on how to make a sandwich, all right? Let's do that. Help me. What are the instructions? So we're going to be combining. Look, a, a sequencer plus a verb in the base form. So a base in the imperative form. All right. So let's work on how to make a sandwich. A sandwich. A ham and cheese sandwich. All right, help me out. What are the instructions? Okay, um, first, first, take uh, two breads. First, uh -huh, two and then we need to put in the imperative form. So bread? take Two slices of bread. Okay, what else? Bread. Two, uh huh. Next. Next. Then. 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 Uh huh. Then. Put uh, mayonesa. mayonesa. What is yeah. this verb, guys? How do you call this verb? Spread. Aha, um, uh -huh, that okay. is the one. Spread. Spread. Very good. Then. Spread bread mayonnaise bread. on the bread. mayo on the bread slice we're good uh-huh continue next uh, then no don't next. repeat it next. Don't combine you have then after sure. that and next then first uh, la, la, la. all right next uh, uh, lettuce but we need a Put, verb uh, Put letters. Put letters. Put letters. Okay. And tomato. And tomato. And tomato. After that. After that. After that. After that. Ham and cheese. Put. We need a verb. We need a verb. The food. After that. Ham and cheese. Put slices. Slices. Of jam. slices of jam of ham and, and cheese and, and cheese okay and chili pepper to taste chili pepper to taste chili pepper to taste no that would be like hot sauce 
or yeah, jalapenos. I don't know what you mean. Jalapenos. <laughs> yes. Finally. Finally. What about people? Finally. Bon Enjoy. <laughs> what are we missing? Finally. Those. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Okay. <laughs> I get one. Right. I get one I sandwich. <laughs> hold on, hold on. All right. Because I hear, I hear the dogs and the children right now. Okay. Be careful with background noise. Anyway, imagine that the instructions are longer. What would you do? Can I say then? Can I say next? Is this okay if I do it? Is it okay? Yes or no? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can recycle then, next, and after that. Except first and finally, we cannot use more than one. All right. Okay. Are you ready to practice? Hey, after putting this. Yes. Yeah, I can do. Okay, so we're going to work in pairs and you're going to give instructions using this, right? Give instructions on how to make a maruchan. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I sent you this. Don't give these instructions, right? <laughs> it's not like this. <laughs> but be sure of, of following the steps. Okay, some useful verbs are a boil, right? First, and bo boil the, the water. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Boil, you know what it is, right? Yes. Okay, you can say pour is when you, when you do this with liquid. So you pour oh. the liquid, right? Okay. In this. Oh, I don't have a, do I have a can here? No. Anyway. Mm, the, the, the part of it, who has a maruchan? <laughs> Not use it. Let me see. <laughs> All right, I will come back. <laughs> All right, look. So the, the the thing is the lid. All right. It says open the lid, close the lid. All right. Okay. And the second one is I want you to give instructions on how to make a cup of coffee. Okay, ready? Yeah. I'm working first with that. Ready or not, here we go. I need to move one person. Hold on. All right, accept the invitation, please, and work on the instructions. I'm back. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, there it is. Oh, Jose. Let me see you. Oh, there you are. <laughs> So you have the instructions there in English. Yeah. Yeah, it would be like open the box, lift the lid, close the lid. All right. Anyway, let's work. Accept the invitation, please. Rolanda, I need to send it to you. Okay. And Jose Roberto, accept it, please. I haven't received it. Check for now. Did you get it? First, everyone, and first, boil the water. First, Next. lid. Uh, open. Lid. Open. <laughs> open. open the lid. No, open lid. the lid. Okay, okay. Open the lid. Open the lid. Yeah. Yeah, right, right. Open the lid. L I T. Then leave. Leave the the tap. The lid. The lid. L I D. Lid. Yes. L leave lift, the tap. Lift the lid. Leave the tap. Is correct. Left. I'm gonna left. send it to WhatsApp. Okay. It's like lift 
open the lid. Let's say open the lid or lift. Ah, okay. Lift or open the lid. Check open the time. lid. Yes, I sent it there. Okay. Then open the lid. Mm -hmm. um, uh, next. Oh, hold on. Jose Armando, are you here? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, pour a uh, uh, hot water. Uh, pour hot water. Work together. Go one and one, one by one. Yeah, he doing. What? No, it's okay. Continue, continue. It's okay. Okay. Good. Uh huh. Uh, put hot water. First of all. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. First of all, you have to, yeah. Uh -huh. um, I think first of all, you the... you have to you, uh -huh. you have to take a cup of uh -huh. water. I, I take a cup of and water then and then uh, put take into a into the coffee maker. Yeah, uh, the sobre, sobre, sobre. ¿Cómo se dice sobre? Sachet. Sobre. Sachet. <laughs> The cafe, sobre, coffee. Sachet, sachet. Then put into the the coffee maker, and I in and, and I uh, turn on the, ca the coffee maker, and I yeah. wait some minutes to for for the coffee, and and finally I enjoy my cup of coffee. <laughs> ah, awesome. and you? Yeah. Hold on. Is Crema chantilly. <laughs> <laughs> Crema chantilly okay. in the coffee. <laughs> okay, hey, my. That, that's, that's like coffee cream. Mm, coffee know. cream, yeah. What do you call that? There's another name. I can think of it. Um, anyway, try to use imperative. So first, like giving instructions to someone. First, put it here. Then lift. Then open. Okay. So try to do it with the imperative form. <clears throat> then... You had to wait 10 minutes, maybe. So, after you add coffee. Okay, but let's do it as um, what's it were instructions. The instructions. So then, <laughs> then add coffee. Then is. Uh -huh. Don't mm -hmm. don't use any subject. So then add coffee. First put la la la. So use the verb. Sequencer yeah, sequence. and verb. All right, go on, go on. Then add coffee. In the in the cup. Okay. And sugar. Um finally enjoy. Um sugar.
All righty, who wants to share? How do you make a maruchan, guys? Give me the instructions, come on. First, boil the water. Uh -huh, very good. Everybody collaborate. So Daniel says first boil the water. Next, guys. Go on, participate. Next, you open the lip of the Myrosham's cup. Uh -huh. All right, but try to do it as an imperative. Okay, so then, like, giving instructions on, on a cook show, right? Uh, on a cooking show. So you're going to say first. Boil the water, then open it or lift the lid. Right. Do you think to make it like boiling line? I didn't understand that. Like, I need to say the first thing they said, then I need to add the what it's going to happen next. No, the, the way you're doing it is okay, but it's not like it's in an instruction, it's just describing something. So you need to mm -hmm. use an imperative form. So first do this, then open. So followed by the verb, all right? Okay. After that, what do we do, guys? Pour the water. Pour the water. <laughs> Good. Next. Pour the hot water. Mm -hmm. All right. Close the lid. <laughs> Close the lid and wait five minutes. Three minutes. Wait. With three, three or five minutes. <laughs> three. Five. If you prefer five minutes, I wait five minutes. <laughs> yes, three. I wait for three minutes. The the noodles no ready in three mm. minutes. It's hard. It's <laughs> hard. In, in five minutes, the noodles is well, uh, so ready. So it's already what? Then then. <laughs> Again. Open the lid, I enjoy. <laughs> yeah, make sure you open that lid before you eat it, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Finally, open uh, finally. the lid and enjoy. <laughs> don't, don't chew around the cup, all right? <laughs> open the lid, use a fork. <laughs> okay, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> How do you make coffee? <laughs> How do you make coffee? Go on, first. Mm. You boil. <laughs> No, not subject, not subject. First, boil. First, boil the water. Right, because you're giving instructions right now, so we use imperative. First, boil water, okay. First, boil water. Next. Add. Next, add some coffee to the water. Mm -hmm. Okay, after that. Um, Jose Armando, Yolanda. After that, put some water in a cup. Well, some coffee in a cup because if you add water before, coffee before is supposed to be coffee now, not water. <laughs> Guys, how do you how do you call this action when you do the shake? No, I don't know. Shake the coffee. No. No. Shake. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. How do you say shake, that? Shake, 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 shake. No, I just no. forgot. It's stare, stare. Let me send it to the. S T I R stare. It. Stare. I R. So the popular uh, song, you would say stare. <laughs> stare the atoli, right? <laughs> That's a verb. Okay. S T I. Stare. No, it's that I. So stare. E no e e e. More like stare. Mm. Oh, okay. S T I R. Stare. Okay. Yeah, you don't shake it like no. <laughs> you don't mix it because mixing, you know, it's different. Like you mix well, ingredients. Well, but if you don't have we, a spoon, we, we you can shake. <laughs> no, don't remember <laughs> milkshake. <laughs> milkshake, teacher. We remember milkshake. Yeah, I know. But don't remove it because it's like remove the coffee. Yes, maybe you can remove it from the stove or from the fire. Remove, but this does—it's not remove. Okay. 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 Right, you got it. Stir. 
there in the, the corn it's all this <laughs> we're going to translate that song <laughs> all right very good you did a great job oh did we finish the coffee no no okay continue no i got distracted <laughs> este de... my coffee is toasted <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. um after stirring the coffee mm -hmm. Is to put some coffee in a cup. <laughs> We're going back and forth. <laughs> Let's say um, finally, finally. After that, uh, put sugar. Yeah, you get to add add sugar. Add, add sugar. sugar. Add sugar. Okay. Add sugar. What else? One spoon sugar. One, one spoon one, sugar. One spoon sugar. Mm -hmm. What about uh, the, like then? Uh -huh. uh, I think it could be uh, add some sugar and milk as you want, uh, and taste. enjoy it. And finally, taste. enjoy it. Toothpaste. Al gusto, say toothpaste. 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 Okay. Okay. Toothpaste. No, Tooth? <laughs> not toothache. No. Hold <laughs> on. We're to add sugar to taste. To taste. Yes. Oh. To taste. Uh, but you sugar. don't limit people on how much sugar it is. Or uh, to taste. Okay. And oh. finally, drink happiness. Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> hey, coffee. Coffee is life, guys. <laughs> You need to believe yeah, this. You're right. Of his life. Yeah. With the, with that semita. It's like oh, oh, coffee. Don't talk about that. Oh my gosh. I need one right now. <laughs> but not instant and yeah. coffee. <laughs> no. Actually, right now it's my not coffee. I do prefer. Yeah, I do prefer the the coffee made in coffee makers. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, or toasted. Coffee. Yeah, I have some <laughs> Colombian coffee here. It's delicious. Anyway, let's focus. So we didn't finish watching the video. Let's, can you see my screen? Yes. Let's finish the video, right? Until it's brown on both sides. We don't want to do that. So therefore, we use different words to explain. And what I would like to point out when talking about this topic is that first, should always come at the beginning whenever we want to explain some sort of process or we want to give some sort of lesson. Finally, should always come at the very end, so that should be your concluding uh, step. Then next and after that are interchangeable. This means that you can uh, start with first mix the peanut butter and banana together, next toast the slices of bread, after that so they could be interchangeable. There's no rule that says that uh, then needs to comes after first. You can use those three interchangeably. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your favorite food recipe. And I want you to write down all the ingredients that you're going to need. So for example, we have in this case, three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana mash, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, and we want that to be melted. And then you use uh, those um, sequence adverbs in order to explain your idea. So for example, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and we use finally. So I would like for you to do something similar, but explaining your favorite food recipe. Which we already did. Alrighty, um, we're going to learn some more vocabulary related to this, okay, on the silverware, um, some verbs, so we're going to see that in a little bit. Let's do the exercise, and after that we can do that, or tomorrow, depending on how much time we have. So I would like you to do this exercise, it's number 4.5, all right, go to that section, please. And this is about the video. I would yes. like you to work in pairs 
all right, to finish this exercise, and I'm going to give you five minutes, only five minutes. Ready? So discuss it, read it out loud, and decide what answer is the right one. Accept the invitation, five minutes or less. So hurry up, please. Section 4.5. Okay. Brainlang, el inglés sin estrés.
Give me one okay. second, everyone's coming back. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes. All right. Mm -mm, okay. I think everyone's back. Oh, here you are. I see you now. We're going to learn some verbs. Pay attention, everyone. Focus, focus. All right, say with me. Boil. 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 Heat. What's the meaning of heat? Heat. What's the meaning of it? Something to start like changing temperatures to cold to coldest to hot. From cold to hot, yes. Heat is to make something hot or to make it warm. Very good. Heat. Say add. Uh, um, or, 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 right, this is or, for liquids. Napkin. 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 Spoon. Napkin. Spoon. Spoon. Cup. 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 Yeah, by the Cup. way, mm, I don't have one, but how do you call the disposable one? Hold on. Okay, what's the name of this? Glass. Glass. Uh -huh. Glass. What if it were okay? What if it were made of plastic? How would you call it? Like this. Uh -huh. How do you call that? Vaso. <laughs> uh, Vaso. Okay. Uh. Is it? How do you call it? I call it plastic cup. Yes. So it's not okay in Spanish. We call it vaso desechable, right? But in English, we're gonna call it. That's how it's a tablet, okay? We're okay. only going to call it glass when it's made of glass, all right? <laughs> okay. Everything else, plastic or... Let me show you one. Give me one second. Hold on. <laughs> all right, look at this. This is made out of plastic, right? How do you call this? Plastic. It's a cup. A cup. Okay, a cup. Yeah, so you're only going to call it glass when it's glass, all right? Okay. Glass. Like this one. <laughs> okay, what's this? Uh, knife. 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 Pan. 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 Glass. 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 Mm -hmm. Glass. Cup. 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 Knife. 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 Napkin. 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 Boil. 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 Did we see this? No, right? I skipped <laughs> it. Okay, we're going to go back. Uh -huh. Cup. 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 Spoon. Stove. Cup. Stove. 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 Yeah, this stove. is not the kitchen, all right? This is a stove. 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 <laughs> Bowl, surround, plate, 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 dish, pot, pot, fork, 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 fork. key, <laughs> glass. That's what I thought. <laughs> glass, knife, 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 pan, pan, pan. Quickly, quickly, glass, glass, glass. Cup. Cup. cup, knife. 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 Napkin. 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 Boil. 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 Pot. Pour. Pour. Spoon. Spoon. Add. Stove. 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 Plate. 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 Pan. 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 Heat. 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 Fork. 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 Okay, no, nothing. One more time, faster. Go ahead. Fork. Heat. 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 Plate. 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 So. Stove. 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 Add. Add. Shot. Spoon. Spoon. Add. Stove. Stove. Spoon. 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 Pour. 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 Knife. 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 Cup. Cup. 
ครับกับแผลนับถัดนะโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยโอ้ยHeat, heat, 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 no. No. All good. All good in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Thank um, you very much. Uh, uh, go ahead. What is your name? I came to this class a little late. Um, I don't know your name. Ah, uh, Jocelyn Navas. Yeah, you're gonna have to do my evaluation, guys. Yes, that, that's why I'm asking you. <laughs> uh, I can't. Uh, that was your name, cause. I see on WhatsApp Y and N, so I think so. This is the only name. <laughs> yeah, Jocelyn Navas. That's my name. So you need to evaluate me. Yes. My turn okay. now. All right. Thank you very much for joining me tonight, guys. It was a pleasure seeing you as always. All right. I'll see you Thank again you, tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Tomorrow. Please join. Okay. Everyone. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Okay. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you bye bye. See you tomorrow. Nice. Bye.